all Christians will go through the tribulation. When the Lord said that, I, it shook me by surprise because I told the Lord, this may sound funny. I told the Lord, Lord, whatever you are saying to me is contrary to what we have been preaching, the Pentecostals are preaching. That's right. And uh, that's when the Lord said, all you people are wrong. Oh. <laughs> that's what he told me in prison too. Look at that. Did so you know that? It's the same God, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Most people say, well, it doesn't matter when the rapture takes place. But it matters if you're believing that the helicopter is going to come and pull you out and it doesn't come. Yeah. Did you recently come to believe that we were going through some things that we didn't expect? It was in that encounter I had with the Lord in the year 2006. I was shocked at what the Lord told me and then he asked me a question. He said, okay, let's go by what you all are believing and what you all Pentecostals are preaching, that the rapture will take place before the tribulation. And the Lord asked me a question. If the rapture will take place before the tribulation, then who will be behind? So I told the Lord, those, those who are foolish virgins and the unbelievers and all that. So he said, all right, let's go by that reasoning. So if the foolish virgins and the unbelievers will be the ones who will be left behind and they will face the Antichrist. The foolish virgins are foolish and their minds are dull of understanding and they will not discern the word anymore. Hmm. Then he asked me, he said, tell me now, why then need the Antichrist to force these people to take the mark of the beast. He need not force them because they were or all readily will accept the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. So why need he force them? But the scripture says he will force them. So who will he need to force if the righteous are already gone? Yeah. So that opened my eyes. So that's when the Lord said, look at this. The mark of the beast will be the final test for all Christians all over the world. Who will have their allegiance to God? Who will not? So the mark of the beast will separate the sheep from the goats, the wheat from the tares, mm. the wise from the foolish, the false from the true, and the wolves from the sheep. <laughs> that is the ultimate test. Because only the true believers will not love their lives unto death and will refuse to take the mark at all costs. Mm -hmm. But the foolish ones or the false believers will accept the mark of the beast thinking that it's nothing wrong. 